everybody. I'm Melanie. I'm Jimmy. And we are back in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. This time we're doing the intermediate program at Witches Rock Surf Camp. If you're interested in the beginner program and would like to see um, our experience here and take a little tour, make sure to click the link above. Uh, but if you want to know more about the intermediate program, continue watching this video. So in order to get to Witches Rock Surf Camp, we flew into Liberia International Airport. From there, Witches Rock provides van transportation and it's roughly a one and a half hour drive to the beach town of Tamarindo. We didn't do this in our last video at Witches Rock, so we figured we'd give you guys a breakdown on what's included with your stay. A week at Witches Rock includes beachfront accommodations, daily breakfast, surfboard rental, boat or van transportation to breach breaks, surf coaching, and video analysis. Hello, I'm Diego from Witches Rock. I'm the manager of the Demo Center Witches Rock. Uh, right now, I'm in charge about the super rental and uh, about like a uh, operation about the board of the surf camp. My friend Melanie, and Jimmy. <laughs> Congratulations hey, for your anniversary. Uh, I'm so happy to see you again. The last time that I saw you, I saw you over the when I was working on the front desk. I was working there. And since I met you, you guys, I said this is this guy have like a good, really good vibe. So I'm so happy to see you again. Yeah. 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 morning guys it is um, the first day of our surf camp it's 5 30 a.m. we're gonna meet at the surf shop and then apparently um, we're gonna grab our boards and then paddle out to a boat that's gonna show up somewhere around here so and they're gonna take us somewhere I have no idea where but very excited and We'll see how we do on our first day. What happened? Huh? Was it here? Or? No, it wasn't here. It was back home. Mm -hmm. But like, he was like stuck in it for like, like 45 minutes, oh and it took like five of us to get him out of it. So, yeah. There. Huh? There. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn. <laughs> I like. It's so That's funny because so I, 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 I got him out of the rip to a spot where like the waves were were, were breaking. And then so he was like, oh great, there's a wave, I can ride it in. Instead of riding it in, he stood up. And then he got stuck right back in the, no. in the river. Yeah, Is he gonna? Okay, okay. We're heading out to the boat. Way far the other feet that we're going are bigger than here. Yeah, yeah.
when I look, when I think of how I did in the beginner last year, this is like a thousand percent better. That's cool. That's the idea in this camp, you know, to go, make signs, go excited for more. Yeah. Hell yeah. Morning guys, it is day two in San Fernando, Costa Rica for our surf camp at Witches Rock Surf Camp. Yesterday, first day in intermediate, I got some really good waves. I'm actually pretty pleased with my progress since we did the beginner program last year. Um, Jimmy had stayed put on Tamarindo Beach instead of taking the boat out. Like the boat was really far out on the water that we had to paddle to and um, so you just decided to stay kind of like in this area right here. But today he's coming out. We're gonna make him come out. <laughs> and uh, go to the other beach with us on the boat. Right, Jimmy? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Immediately after our morning surf, we geared up to hike La Leona Waterfall. At first, we regretted the decision, but it ended up being one of our favorite hikes of all time. Ooh, it is... Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. We'll show the full hike in another vlog. Good morning guys, it is day three here in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Um, my surf sesh yesterday, uh, I only caught two waves. It was, a real, it was a real struggle yesterday. I don't know if I was just so fatigued from surfing the day before, but only got two. And supposedly the second one that I got was like the biggest wave of the day out there. I have no idea. I just knew that I was like frantically just trying to catch a wave. Um, but uh, Supposedly they got footage of it, so we'll see what that looks like. But yeah, today's day three. I'm taking a boat out again. Don't know where, probably Playa Grande. Um, Jimmy's gonna take a break today because his shoulder is like really bothering him. So excited for the day. I drink my coffee, see if that will give me a little extra boost um, in catching waves this morning. So see you guys out there. So after I caught one of my best waves and got back to Tamarindo, minor catastrophe struck.
I didn't grab my board in time. Luckily, Caleb came to save me, and I made it back to shore. Yeah. Look at that, man. Oh, hello. Good morning. Hi, morning. Did you get good sleep? Yeah, I kind of stayed awake since. Oh. Did you see me, my board? Yeah. Did you get that? I did. Did you? Was that your worst nightmare for you? Like your board, like getting away from you? That was. Yeah. That was exactly what I was thinking of, actually. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> I was like, I would have died. Yeah. How was your morning? It was great, man. It was just. Sleep in? Sleeped in just a little bit and then uh, watched everyone surf. Did people catch some good waves out here? It was really big this morning. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we got, we got some good ones. That's good. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. I mean, we didn't see anybody in the barrels, but we saw like as the waves were coming. Nobody was riding them. But... <laughs> <laughs> we were riding, but we could see. But they were there for us to dream yeah. about one day. Yeah. Good enough, man. <laughs> ah, there was nothing like crashing in front of me. I was legit going down to the line, and I think that was like the first time that I've successfully gone down the line. So nice. I would say that that was a good win for me today. So pretty, pretty excited about that. And nice. man, they all got like some really sick waves too. Did they? Yeah. The whole group is fire. Yeah, yeah. It was a fun morning. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna drink espresso. <laughs> I gotta drink this one. Magical elixir. All right, so back and refreshed from um, that serve session. We went out to play Grande again. Um, I did have a better day yesterday. I caught a couple of waves, and for once, I finally. <laughs> For once I finally properly went down the line, of course my GoPro on my board was, the battery was already done. So I didn't catch that, but hopefully our camera guy on the beach, <laughs> hola, uh, caught that on video. So uh, we're actually heading to video analysis right now and see how we did and get some tips on how we can do better. straight down the line versus dropping in down the face of the wave so that's my goal today caught one yesterday but I need to go down the line more the boat is somewhere over there and it seems like it just gets further and further every day <laughs> every day you're trying to you're trying to kill us or the boat captain is I don't know. Less than half a meter. Uh, okay.
being pummeled by giant waves at Playa Grande, it was time for strength and balance with Mateo. Later in the day, a bunch of us from Witches Rock Surf Camp spent the afternoon on a sail and snorkel tour. At the end of the week, we were spared from having to paddle to the boat and took a van to Playa Avellanas. books at Witches Rock Surf Camp. We surfed, we learned, we even conquered some fears. But just like our last time here, 
We met some pretty amazing people that had the trip of a lifetime. And now we're back at home. Say, and now that we're back home. And now that we're back at home. He doesn't even serve. <laughs> ah, JK, JK. And now that we're back home, we have some exciting news for you guys. First off, we are heading back to Witches Rock Surf Camp at the beginning of October 2023. Um, I know, it's crazy. We just cannot get enough of that place. And two, <laughs> and two, we partnered up with Witches Rock Surf Camp and offering you, our viewers, 10% off your next booking. Just mention WRSCJM10 either by email or phone and they'll make sure to get you 10% off on your next booking. Yeah, and maybe we'll see you guys there in October. Who knows? So. Um, if you have any other questions about our own personal experience there, don't forget to drop a comment on our video. Um, if you have other questions that maybe we can't answer, you can always go to witchesrocksurfcamp.com or check out any of their social media and I'm sure you can find all the information you need. And lastly, if you liked this video and are interested in following our surf progress, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and you'll get notified for more videos to come. So thanks again for watching, guys. Pura Vida. Yeah.